is uncomfortable for me. I'm usually a lot more upbeat and excited, but I'm honestly uh, I'm embarrassed. I don't know who to turn to, but I'm just going to come out and say it. I think my wife's cheating on me. And I should clarify, not with a person, uh, but with Twilight. I think she's watching these films and enjoying them behind my back. I'd like to think I run a pretty tight ship in this house with my, my wife and two children. The wife and I have tried to raise our kids with the best values. And by values, I mean watching the best films. We have our Shawshank Redemptions on one side. We have our Aliens on the other. They're getting a good assortment of healthy films to digest. And yes, we let them enjoy sweets as well. There's Frozens in there. There's Tangleds in there. But I always thought my wife and I were on the same page when it came to films and how we, we, we approached them. I'm going to take you back to 2008 when Twilight came out. My wife was pregnant with our first child at the time. And unlike the abortion that hit theaters, we were very much planning on having our kid. But I wanted the child! I wanted the baby to be raised right! And that meant we weren't going to start them out in the womb hearing Bella Swan swooning over some vampire or some werewolf. I don't know if the werewolf's in the first movie. I've only seen the first movie because we watched a pirated version. Shh, 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 be quiet. They're listening. They're always listening. Calm down, Pearl Clutcher. I've invested tens of thousands of dollars over my lifetime already to Hollywood. Judge me if you will, but I think the much larger crime is showing your child, your, your precious little baby, Twilight. Years went by, more Twilights were released onto the world, and we casually avoided them. We, we didn't even bother pirating the next few because the first one was so embarrassingly bad, so giga cringe level, that I couldn't even withstand another blow from a second film. I thought my wife was in the same boat, but it turns out she was cheating on me in the background in secret. All these years later, biding her time, waiting for a streaming service like Netflix to come out, which would give her the opportunity to instantly have access to this vile monstrosity of a film franchise. So you could imagine my shock after coming home from putting in a hard day's work, unlacing and pulling off my work boots, unstrapping my... my overalls, I, I, I guess I work at a farm in this scenario, walking upstairs and seeing my wife in bed with another. And not just one, but an orgy of disgust. A vampire, a werewolf, an albino woman who can't act, all there entrancing her. The worst part about it is she denies the whole thing. You know what she told me when I walked in on this despicable act? She said she's watching it for the lulls. She's watching it as a joke. She's in on it. She's ironically watching it and laughing at how bad it is. That's what she has the gall to tell me to my face? That's the equivalent of catching your wife in bed with another man and he claims he slipped and fell in. Unlike Edward, when the sunshine hits him, our marriage was no longer sparkling. It was no longer the picture-perfect affair it used to be. Now it's just simply an affair. A love affair with this hacky franchise that for some reason has millions of adoring fans who are once again rushing out to watch it on Netflix. Choosing over every other movie in the history of mankind to watch these shitty films. And now my wife's been sucked into it. Into the drama. Into the pageantry of a young dumb woman falling for a thousand-year-old douchebag that still for some reason goes to high school like a predator hits on the young girls the the ones that are easily susceptible to his his trickery the young naive ones that are easily susceptible to his charms these are the types of movies that we want our kids growing up with i think not so i guess cast me out for showing my kids Harry Potter because there's magic in the movie and dark arts. So throw the book at me when you walk in and see my son watching Predator and he's only nine years old. 
you might as well lock me up and throw away the key because I will gladly sit down and watch with my entire family true lies over this Twilight trash. I'd like to not only lie to myself, but lie to you right now and say this was an isolated incident. A one and done situation. No, no, this was only the beginning. The very next day, the next morning, I wake up to see her in the bathroom at the sink, doing up her hair while she has a tablet next to her on the counter with the second one playing! I don't even know what it's called! New Moon? The fuck does that even mean, New Moon? More like New Man. Because that's how I felt. Because now I'm no longer the man in her life. She's got two. She's got two that she's fighting for. She's the Bella Swan now. And I'm just... I don't know what the film equivalent in Twilight is of the loser that gets tossed aside because I've never seen those shitty films! So how's it going now, you might ask, Adam? Well, it's not going well. I'll tell you that much. She's on, I believe, the fourth. Maybe the fifth one. I don't know how many there are. Uh, a seemingly endless supply. And she just, she's all in. And she's still, she's still claiming that it's all for the jokes. She just can't stop watching the train wreck. That's what she tells me. I can't look away from the train wreck. Well, look away from the train wreck! There's good trains out there. You don't need to watch them crash. Watch them, watch them leave. Nine and three quarter station. Watch them pull into Hogwarts. I guess the reason I'm putting this video out today is because I want to know if I've gone crazy. If, if I've gone mad, or if the world has. Is it right for me to feel this way? Is it right for me to feel shame for my family and for my failures as not only a, a man, and a husband, and a, a lover, but as a person? Fucking feel. That's how I fucking feel. I want you to leave a comment right goddamn now and tell me what is going on. Is she, should I believe her? I know you don't know her, but sometimes the honesty, the blunt force honesty of a stranger is all you have to go on. So leave a comment, let me know. Like the video if you like me. <laughs> you can relate a little. And feel free to subscribe if you want to see further ridiculousness from my channel. Thank you and good night. Unless you're watching this during the day, in which case, ignore that. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you know that that was all just satire. I, I'm not truly upset about my wife watching Twilight, you know, for the, for the jokes. That, that part is true. She does claim that. I don't know. I don't know if I believe her or not, but this was all for just, you know, silly fun. Anyway, like I said, feel free to subscribe. I put out videos constantly now. You can join me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Throw me a dollar or five or whatever, or just hit the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. Get access to an exclusive show. It's a good time, we're, we're, we're having fun.